Yo YouTube, what is up? Rain back again. Now this is a how to get out of silver video. I had a login to CSGO for a very long time. I logged back in and I got placed silver one, man. Silver one? Bro, back in my day, I was MGE, high MGE, almost DMG, and then I stopped playing for a bit, played some League of Legends, Minecraft, got back into CSGO, MG2, you know, and then they had the D rank thing, then I was like, MG, you know, I was around that skill level, right? Bro, I log in, I play a game, and they gave me silver one. What? So... I just, I was like, you know what? I might as well make a video out of it. How to get out of silver one. Cause I do not belong in silver. Okay. I, me, I don't belong in silver. Nah, nah, ain't no way. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to film a video. How to get out of silver one. Uh, just some tips and tricks and, you know, lineups, how to position, position yourself. Now bear in mind, I haven't played CSGO in quite a while. So my aim, um, my positioning, my smokes, you know, a lot of like CSGO knowledge has gone out the window but i'm getting it back i'm getting back into the game but yeah so just enjoy the video like come subscribe and i'll see you in the next video when i reach gold peace so if you can you're always going to want to buy an assault rifle they do the most damage at the most range other than uh snipers of course you have the orp and the uh, ssg so i've just noticed two teammates died because they pushed tunnels so i'm just going to hold here I can get a bit of an angle. I can see when they're coming out. I can see if they're going to... See or not. Alright, so there you go. I saw somebody run past. So I don't need to shoot them. I just need to watch them swing this way. Simple. And you don't want to hold down. See, this is very important. That You don't want to hold down. So you see when you hold down, your, your gun goes up. So you're going to want to... <laughs> shoot like three bullets four bullets stop shoot two three bullets it's even better if you can uh but it all comes with practice but initially you're gonna want two people on b site two people on a site and one person watching mid so because nobody's watching mid i'm just gonna hang around up here a bit so we do have the bomb so i'm just gonna hold it down we're gonna use the same strat that we did last time Watch here, see if anyone walks past. We don't have to shoot, but he was walking kind of slow. So I'm just going to watch this side. They'll most likely peek this side. If not, I can just flick right here. Which is it's this game. This game is all about patience. You don't want to make any rash decisions by rushing forward, pushing them. This guy's the last person. Perfect. Teammate killed him. It's all about being patient. You don't need to rush forward. You don't need to push anything just sit back wait for them to push especially when you're a counter terrorist you're waiting for them to come and hit you you don't need to go and push them so i'm just gonna buy some grenades sometimes i don't use my grenades but it's good to be there it's good to have it there if i need it um and with my economy economy is a whole different situation maybe i'll talk about it a bit more so we already have two here okay purple is moving back so i'm just gonna stick around here we don't need three people on b so i was prepared to Move back to middle if I needed to. But one person just died on A. So it looks like they might be pushing A. See? Just shoot two bullets, two, three bullets. You don't need to spray. There you go. So I saw the last two on their team. They already pushed the site. So I'm just going to push up with my team here. Now, you, this is where you want to use your t utility. Throw grenades, throw molotovs. There you go, the team's already dead. So now you might notice that I press tab a lot. I'm not looking at my score or my rank or what everyone's doing. I'm looking at a mini map in the top left. I can see the whole map when I press tab. You see like it's like this, I can only see a bit of the map. If I press tab, I can see the full map. So when I'm pressing tab, I'm doing that to check out where everybody is positioning of my teammates see if there's any gunfire going on across the map so we've got one person with the orp watching mid that's perfect i'm just gonna come over here to b and like i said you just gonna hold back watch a little tight angle is anybody running left is anybody running right which way they're gonna come out and if if you wanted to you could use your t utility here 
you could use your your molotovs your grenades but like i said just hold back don't need to push so this guy's swinging out there's not really a necessary reason to do that um you just sit back you wait but we do have the bomb here so another way that they can come so i'm gonna press tab here they can come from mid so i can see the map nobody's watching mid they could come from there there's only two enemies left though so i'm just gonna hang around here we have one person in tunnels one person there so we already know nobody's coming through tunnels they might be coming from mid and just like i expected they are coming from mid all right so the last person was in tunnels because he just killed my teammate and there we go there's a round you're gonna want to predict where the enemy is gonna come from you you don't want to um sit there blindsided all three of us could have been watching tunnels and that guy would have snuck up on us uh mid and we would probably would have died so it's the last round i'm gonna buy all the utility i can because i've got all this money i can spend if you wanted to i could buy an orp but if you're a beginner starting to play the game i'd stick with assault rifles maybe smgs so we're just going to use a bit of utility there help out a teammate just to push them back a bit. He was getting a bit overwhelmed. They were flashing. They were shooting back. There you go. Easy round. Well played. So we're going into the next half now. Now we haven't lost a half actually. Um, which is pretty good. Hopefully we can keep that shoot going and we can win a clear game. Now for pistol rounds. What I like to do is buy armor. Especially at low ranks, not a lot of people are going to be going for headshots. They're going to go be going for body shots. So buying that vest for extra bit of padding is pretty good. You can tank maybe one or two more shots. Now you're going to want to watch the lower tunnels there. Somebody could be coming from mid. There you go. There's one. And we're just going to wait a bit. I'm just going to hold an angle. Wait for them to push out. Hopefully my teammate does watch the window there. Okay. That was basically nothing I could have done there. Oh, our whole team died somehow. So we were able to get that clear um, win. But it's okay. So in our second round, I usually go for a Mac 10 or a Mac uh, MP7, which is pretty good. And I'm just going to hang around lower, lower tunnels. Um, as you might notice, in lower ranks, not a lot of people talk in the mic. Um, so you're just going to want to be playing for the team. So you're just going to walk here very quietly. We just want to listen out for footsteps. So there's somebody up short, somebody just, teammate just died there. Just going to hang around around here. We're just going to listen out. This is one they have an um automatic sniper. Just gonna hang around a bit, listen to footsteps. Yeah. I hear them on my left. There's two at least. And just like that, see allowing my teammate to push. Yes, it's kinda selfish, but I anticipate that there would have been two people on B. They pushed. Uh, they decided to come mid doors where I was waiting for them and it was an easy kill So that is my first video for how to get out of silver starting from silver one um, Yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is what their ranks were. Yeah, silver one um, But yeah, good game. Peace so, let's go,